how to create a website using IIS in Windows Server 2008 IIS is a web server feature from Microsoft and it is used to create websites which can be accessed from intranet and internet it supports both HTTP and HTTPS and also supports FTP advanced security features can be enabled in IIS with the help of different types of authentications and security certificates and IIS is one of the most important prerequisites of most of the application servers like exchange servers and SharePoint servers. We can now go on and install IIS and create a website in a Windows Server 2008 machine. We are on a Windows Server 2008 machine. Now we will install a web server on this computer and we will create a website in this and we will access it using Internet Explorer also. To install a web server in Windows Server 2008, we have to take the server manager as us usual. In Windows Server 2008, if you want to install any kind of roles and features, we have to go to the server manager and click on roles. I can click on add roles now. I'll click on next and select the web server IIS can add required features I'll click on next next and I'll only select the default features now but you can select whatever you want from this section if you want IS6 manageability you can select it if you want FTP server you can select it or if you want different types of authentications you can also select that one and I will click next and click install to start the installation this installation will take a couple of minutes and uh, I will pause the video and will be right back after it completes the installation has succeeded I can close out of this window and close out of the server manager also so the installation of IAS is complete now we can go to administrative tools and open the internet information services manager this is the administration console of IAS here you can see your server if you expand it you'll be able to see the websites that this server has so we now have a default website which will be automatically created when you install the IAS web server you can select it and right, right click on it and go to manage website and click on browse to see that website this is the default website of IAS 7 you can also access it from Internet Explorer directly you can take Internet Explorer and type in HTTP colon slash slash localhost you can also type in the IP address of this computer and you will get this website itself so first let me check the IP address of this computer I will go to the command prompt and type in IP config to the to get the IP address of this computer it's 1.134 you can directly give the IP address in the address bar and I will get the same IS7 website so this is the web default website of IIS but what we need to have is a website of our own for that I have created a website I have uh, created a website and I have put it in the C drive in my site index so this will be the website that we are going to host in IIS so I will open up the IAS manager and I'll just stop this default website and we will create a new website right click and click on add website and we can give a name to it you 
can show the physical path of the content directory here I'll expand the C drive expand the my site and this is the content directory I, I just have to select the my site the parent folder where the website files reside and click on ok I'll give specify the IP address here 192.168.1.134 which should be used by this IAS web server click OK and now I have to show the default document I can select this website and open the default document and I have to verify that I have the home page file of my website entered there index.html it is the index.html file and I have it entered here if you do not have your home page file inside this category you have to add it using this add button you can just specify the name of that index file so I have this index.html and it will work with my website I will just move it up to give it a give it the maximum priority and now I can just try to browse that web page right click and manage website and browse so here I have got the website that I, I have hosted in the IAS so now if you try to access this website using HTTP colon slash slash 192.168 dot one dot one thirty four from any computer that has a connectivity to this server will get this web page so this is how we create a website using IAS I hope this was informative for you and thank you for watching